a little bit how this new chapter of assisting others in their last chapter kind of came to be. Um, well, at the beginning of COVID, at the beginning of COVID, um, you know, theater, there was no theater, there was no business meetings, consulting was dying, businesses weren't. Um, and a friend of mine asked me if I could help. Her mother died in Denver, and her sister lived in Maine, and the other sister lived in uh, London. And can I help stream the funeral service from Denver to um, to them? And I said, sure. And I got myself a camera and I, you know, a better, a better camera, better microphones, set it all up at the funeral home. And the funeral home fell in love with what I did to the point they started. They had seven or eight branches in Denver. I can't remember the name, the exact name of the funeral home, but they have seven or eight branches. And in the next three or four years, I did over 200 funerals streaming. Um, sometimes we were doing, uh, they were connecting me with people that weren't doing funerals in the chapel. And I would do virtual funerals um, and life celebrations. I yeah. did two, I've done two life celebrations that are live people who just wanted to, you know, they knew they were dying and they, yeah. um, so yeah, the last be a part of the event and actually take part in it. That was a uh, very, something that was very needed there uh, during COVID for sure. Yeah. And, and I grew to, it's like I grew into their families and the last one was a live person. And he's the one that came to me and says, said, you know, you would do very well as a death doula. And I didn't really like the term, so that's why I've changed it to end of life doula. 